Yo, 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 guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO video hitting you guys in the face with the weekend upload. And today, guys, we're going to be looking at five great budget decks you can build right now. And uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get into them. These are my favorite budget decks right now, personally, in my opinion. So, anyways, let's hop into these, and I will provide the deck list in this video. Don't worry. So, let's get into it. Alright, so starting off with my first budget deck here, this is going to be the Aerodactyl Wobbuffet budget deck. This is a video that I made uh, about two weeks ago or something like that, and this deck is pretty powerful. It is, of course, budget friendly. You don't really have to get many good cards for it. Yes, you do need Tauros GX, which isn't that expensive. It's like worth a couple of packs. Obviously, I'm using the blinged out versions of all these stuff in these deck lists. So, just get the normal copies of these. But yeah, basically the Aerodactyl budget deck is very good. Aerodactyl is a pretty solid attacker. It does 120 for a DCE. You can get rid of a special energy on your opponent's active Pokemon, so you can kind of disrupt them. And basically, you want to just start with like either Wob, Talonflame, or Tauros, so that Wob can get you a better time against those ability decks like Volcanion and Decidueye Plume. Tauros can be a great wall, and Talonflame can be a good way to get a bunch of cards going in your hand. So, overall, this is a great budget deck. It's very cheap. You don't need any Shamans in any of these decks. So, basically, yeah, the Aerodactyl deck goes like this. You go into the, all the items. You got Captivating Pokepuff in here. This is a cool tech card I threw in that you can use to force your opponent to put a Shaman on their bench, then you can knock it out with Jet Draft. Uh, you got Eco Arms, so you can reuse your Bursting Balloons. You got three Excavation Kits, so you can, you know, use your Fossils. You do play the old Amber Aerodactyl. This is how you will get your Aerodactyls in play. We're not going to be using Amistar. We're going to be using the old Amber Aerodactyl to get our Aerodactyls onto our bench. So with this, basically, we can use Fossil Excavation Kit, and we can even use Puzzle of Time to keep trying to get those Amber, old Amber Aerodactyls to give us the Aerodactyls we need. So that's kind of the whole concept of the deck. And, you know, other things, you got special charges to get your DCs back, two super rods to get back Aerodactyls, one town map so you can see what Aerodactyls are prized. It's pretty much a simple deck, and you go into your supporters here, you got your one Delinquent, you got two Lysander, three Ends, one Kikui, three Sycamores. You don't really want to play four because you don't want to lose a lot of the cards, um, but you can, other, you can always run in other tech ideas in this deck for supporters. You can throw in, like, Hex Maniac if you want. You can throw in, you know, I don't know, like, Team Flare Gun, if you want, you can Aerodactyl 120 your opponent, Flare Gun them, so you get rid of their basic energy and their special energy, so they have no energy on them. That could be another thing you could possibly do. There's some good tech ideas for supporters. I'm pretty comfortable with this list here. You got your basic three Psychic Energies. Psychic you can use for Talonflame, and you can even tackle Wob, and four DCEs for your Aerodactyl. It's basically a simple budget deck right here. It's great at beating stuff like Decidueye Plume. It's great at beating out decks that solely rely on special energy. So uh, yeah, that is the first budget deck here, and let's hop into the second budget deck. Alright guys, the second budget deck we got here is going to be Gyarados. Now Gyarados, there's some lists that do play Shaman in them, there's some lists that play Meowstic. This is the straight more like just straight up budget list. The only card that I think is truly expensive in this is Team Magma Secret Base. This will cost you a few packs just for a single copy of this, but in all honesty, it's not really that expensive, you know. You just get like six packs, you can probably get a Team Magma Secret Base. You can probably just trade one pack and if you get lucky. But Team Magma Secret Base is really the only expensive card in here. Other than that, the rest is pretty cheap. Gyarados is a pretty cheap card. It's pretty good. And then obviously Magikarp. So basically the entire point of the deck and the goal of the deck is to get Magikarps on your bench with the Team Magma Secret Base in play. So that they have two damage counters on them. And then you hit them with four retaliations for a knockout. It's a very, very powerful budget deck. And again, there are lists that do play Shaman, but we do run 2-2 two, two Octillery. In fact, I think this was in a list that ended up taking second place, so Octillery is a pretty good card to have. It, you know, uses Abyssal Hand, you can keep drawing cards, and this is very important in a deck like this where you kind of want to keep, you know, consistency, because Gyarados won't survive a lot of the time, so with Octillery, you can kind of just keep drawing cards, and you can keep the consistency going, so Octillery might not even just be better than Shaman in general in this deck, but Octillery, again, it's a very cheap card, and it's very budget-friendly. And, yeah, you only play the 11 Pokemon. There are tech ideas you can throw in. You can throw in a Mr. Mime if your opponent plays, you know, if you're scared of, like, Hoopas and Spindas kind of messing up your Magikarps and knocking them out, or even Umbreon. So Mr. Mime is a great tech idea in this deck. If you want, throw in a single copy of Mr. Mime so that you don't have to worry about Umbreons and stuff like that hitting your bench, knock out your Magikarps. But most of all, it's straightforward. Other techs, I guess, you could throw in is Meowstic EX if you want. So, yeah, for the most part, it's a very simple deck. Two Acrobikes, four... Buddy Buddy Rescue, this is how you're going to get your Magikars back in your hand. 
four Magma Seeker base, obviously, so the damage gets on. And we do play the four puzzle of time so that we kind of can keep the consistency going with our Magma Seeker base. We got four dive balls. Everything in this deck is a water type, so we got that. Three ultra balls, which, you know, it's good searching. You get rid of excess cards. and also helps you draw more cards with Octillery. Uh, one level ball for, like, Magikarp and Octillery and stuff like that. It's just a very straightforward deck. You got your supporters here. One Lysander, one N, one Kikui. Kikui is good so that you can hit magic numbers. Uh, four Sycamore for draw, or me, for draw support. We got our two teammates here. Teammates is very important since... Most of the time, you're either going to start with Remoraid or Magikarp in this deck, so they'll get knocked out very easily, so then you play teammates, grab two cards of your choice. It's going to help you out a lot. So we do run two teammates in the deck. It's a very good card. Teammates can also grab you two puzzles, and you can go from there. One Floatstone, just to give, like, Octillery for your treat. We do play two Lucky Helmet. This is a uh, tool we can actually put on Gyarados, so you can draw two extra cards. Kind of, again, keep this consistency going so that you never really have to worry about not having, like, a dead hand where you miss the turn to attack with Gyarados. Um, we got four DCs, that's the only energy we need. There are other versions of Gyarados I've seen that played uh, Zabstrika in them, which isn't bad either. But this is just a straightforward Gyarados, a straightforward budget Gyarados deck. Very easy, very easy to make. Obviously, all you need is the Magma Secret base, which does cost a few packs. But other than that, the rest of the deck is very cheap. So yeah, let's hop into the third or yeah third budget deck. So I'll see you guys in just a sec. Alright guys, the next budget deck here we got is Pissimian. Now, Pissimian is a great budget deck. It's probably the most popular budget deck right now. I want, I want to say this is the most popular budget deck at the moment, but it is. And it's a very, very cool and very powerful deck. So, basically, the whole goal of the deck is to just get Pissimians on your bench and attack with Mew. You can also attack with Pissimian, but the thing is, is Pissimian would be in the active and you need to have three on your bench, so you're going to be doing less damage. You're going to do more damage with Mew instead of Pissimian, but this deck is pretty cool. Mew can hit for weakness on Espeon GX and on Mew 2Y, which is very good, and Pissimian can hit for weakness on stuff like Darkrai, which is also very good. So both of these two Pokemon hit for very good weakness numbers. And other than that, you just got one Orangaroo for your other draw support. There are lists that play Shaman, but we don't play Shaman. We just use one Orangaroo in the list. It's a very just straightforward list. You got two Buddy Buddy Rescue to keep your Pissimians coming back. Because again, the whole point of the deck is to have Pissimians sitting on your bench. So that'll help one Eco Arm so that you can get back your Balloons. Balloons going to play a big role in this deck so that you can take easier knockouts. You're not ever going to one-shot with Pissimian or Mew unless you're hitting for weakness. So with Bursting Balloon... It allows you to, you know, if they attack you, they're going to get knocked out because you did so much damage to them. So that's kind of the point of Bursting Balloon in this deck. Um, escape Ropes in here. We got Nest Ball. This is how we're going to get our Pissimians in play because with Nest Ball, it allows us to just put a basic Pokemon on our bench. That basic Pokemon can obviously be Pissimian, and, you know, that's how we're going to get our Pissimians in play is with Nest Ball. We got four Puzzle of Time so that we can get, you know, a bunch of stuff back. One Repeat Ball. I just did this in here as a cool tech idea. Repeat Ball. It, you can, you know, if you already have a Pissimian in play, you repeat ball for another Pissimian, and it works like that. Two revives, so you can get your Pissimians back from your bench. One special charge for your DC, since the only energy you play in here is DCE. And uh, we got one switch in the deck. One town map. Town map is very important, because if you have any Pissimians prized, you want to see where they are, so you can get them as soon as possible. So town map is going to help us with that. And then four mail for all of our items, since there's so many of them. Three Ultra Balls, four Via Seeker, one Faded Town for Stadium. Um, There are lists that could play, like, Skyfield, I and mean, like, Pissimi and Reggie Rock would have like Skyfield in them, but we're just gonna play Faded Town as our stadium helps us against Mega Dex. One Hex Maniac. Hex Maniac I really like because if you're using Pissimian to attack, you can Hex Maniac them and slow them down a bit. Two Lysander, bring something up, knock it out. Again, Pissimian and Mew hit for really good weakness numbers, so you can always use take advantage of that. Three ends is draw support. One Kikui, four Sika. We do play two teammates. Now, teammates is great in this deck because, again, you're using very fragile Pokemon. Mew with 50 HP, Pissimian with 110. So teammates is allow going to allow you to take two cards because most of the time you are going to get knocked out in one hit. And we got our Bursting Balloons. And we got four double colorless energy in the deck. That's the only energy we're going to play. You can always rump up this to two special charge if you want because, again, you're relying so heavily on DCE. So, yeah, this is the budget Pissimian deck. Very budget friendly. Probably the most popular budget deck at the moment. So, yeah. And by the way, these this is in, in no specific order as which budget deck is better than the other. These are just five straight up budget decks you can build right now if you're new to the game. So, yeah, let's hop into another budget deck.
Okay, here we go, guys. This is the next budget deck here we got. And this is going to be Quad Lapras. This is a very popular deck at the moment, and it's a very cool deck. It plays no Shaman whatsoever. Now, obviously, I don't have two other Laprases. Don't ask why I'm so poor. Don't roast me in the comments, please. But Lapras is a very, or Quad Lapras is very good. It's probably better than Water Toolbox at the moment, if I'm going to be honest with you. So the whole strategy of the deck is, like, you can run your opponent out of energy. You can kind of wall. It's almost like playing Waylord in a way. But you can also attack with your Lapras with Blizzard Burn, Ice Beam GX. You can manipulate the Ice Beam GX. You can Blizzard Burn. Ice Beam GX isn't that powerful because, of course, Switch and Escape Rope and Olympia are very popular at the moment. But for the most part, it's a very powerful attacker. It's got 190 HP. You got Rough Seas to heal it. And you got Belt to give it more HP. Lapras can just become a complete tank. Kind of the goal of this deck is just disrupt your opponent, make them have no energies, disrupt their hand, and, you know, just hit them every turn with Lapras. And it's a very, very powerful deck, and it's a very fun deck. And it's a very disruptive deck, it's a very annoying deck. It's literally like playing Waylord, in a way. So, all you really need is four Lapras. You can even just not even run Wob. I do have the one Wob in here for the Decidueye Plume matchups. I mean, this deck it doesn't have a bad match against Decidueye Plume, because you have so many ways to get rid of their energy, so it's not really a big deal. But Wob helps you a little bit. So we do play one Wob. You can always take out a Wob and just straight up just run the four Lapras. Um, but yeah. Four Crushing Hammers for Disruption. One Enhanced Hammer. We got three Max Elixirs. This is how we're going to build our Lapras. This is up on our bench. We do play ten Water Energy, so it's a really good amount. Two Nest Balls, getting your Laprases on your bench that way. You can run also Dive Ball, but with Nest Ball, you can also grab the Wob Effect. Four Puzzle of Times, since, you know, you can just Puzzle of Time back for whatever you want. It's very, very powerful in this deck. Two Switches to switch through, and Switch is great with Lapras, because when you Blizzard Burn, you can switch out into another Lapras and Blizzard Burn them. So that's how that works. Four Via Seeker, four our Supporters. We play a ton of Disruption Supporters. Four Rough Seas to consistently heal our Lapras. We got Delinquent for Disruption. Two Lysander, four N in the deck. Four N, just because we have so many important cards, we don't always want to lose them with Sycamore. Uh, one Olympia. Olympia is a great card in this deck. It heals your Lapras with Rough Seas, and also allows you to switch into a new one to Blizzard Burn. Uh, one Ranger. This allows you to just straightforward use Blizzard Burn again without having to retreat or anything. Uh, one Kikui. It allows your Lapras to actually do 180 damage, which is a perfect amount of damage you might need. Three Sycamore, your draw support. We do play T. Three Team Flare Gun. Great card in this deck. You just flare gun your opponent every turn. Make them lose their energy on their active. It's a very useful card in this deck. And uh, same thing with one Team Skullgrunt. I've even seen Liz play two Team Skullgrunt. It's a great disruption card. And, you know, you can just Team Skullgrunt your ha opponent's hand and make them lose their energy. It's a very, very good card. Two might even be a better amount, if I'm going to be quite honest with you. Uh, we got three Fighting Fury Belt to give your Lapras more HP. One Float Stone. You can put this on your Lapras, get for your Treat or your Wobba Fed. Ten Water Energies is the amount of Water Energies. This is a very, very good budget deck. It's probably, it might be not the cheapest budget deck, but it's a very cheap deck. Uh, not everything in this deck is that expensive. Lapras isn't that expensive. Obviously, you don't need to have the Secret Rare, Rainbow Rare, Full Art versions. Just run the normal version. There are only like a few packs. You can get these very easily. It's a very good budget deck. Very disruptive. Very annoying to play against budget deck. I'll tell you that right now. And uh, yeah, so finally we can get into the last budget deck here that I have to showcase to you guys. So let's hop into it. And the final budget deck here is going to be Volcanion without Shaman or Hoopa. Now Volcanion usually plays Shaman. It usually plays Salamence. It usually plays Hoopa. But there is a version of Volcanion that doesn't need that, and this is Volcanion without the Shaman or Hoopa. And it's just straight up three baby Volcanion, four normal Volcanion EX. Obviously, you don't need to play the full art. So there are a lot of versions of Volcanion. It's very cheap. Obviously, there's Secret Rare, there's the full art, which are more expensive. The normal art is cheap, and also the tin promo is very cheap. So now we also play the 1 1 Octillery in here. Octillery is great in this deck since. Of course, it's budget-friendly and it's draw support. It cycles through the deck when you steam up because you're going to lose cards. We even play the one Starmie in the deck. This allows you to just recycle your energy and then use a uh, Volcanic Heat again. You don't have to have the Starmie, um, but you know what? Starmie is still very good to have anyways, right? It allows you to get two free steam ups in. So those are all of our Pokemon. doesn't need any Shaman, no Hoopa, no Salamence, nothing. Those are all expensive cards. Uh, two Dive Balls. Dive Ball is great in this deck because Volcanion does count as a water type, so you can grab Volcanion with Dive Ball. You can grab Octillery. Remoraid, Staryu, and Starmie. We do play one Energy Retrieval so that we can, you know, get two Fires back and you Steam Up again. Two Escape Rope. Escape Rope is a great card to have. Gets around Tauros, but also allows you to keep using Steam Up. Four Max Elixirs. Just, you know, Max Elixir. You build up a Volcanion really quickly. You can even do a Turn 1 Volcanion, so that's why that's nice. Uh, three Trainer's Mail. There's a lot of important items in this deck. 
for Ultra Balls for your searching for VS Seekers for supporters. We only play two Scorched Earth. Volcanium is Shaman and Hoopa does play Skyfield, but you don't need Skyfield in this deck, so we just run two Scorched Earth. It could be good draw support sometimes. Uh, one Fisherman. Fisherman is awesome to get back four fires. They can use Steam Up again and stuff like that. Two Lysanders bringing something up, knocking out Volcanium. Does 130. You can bring something up, double Steam Up, boom, knock something out. Two ends is draw support. One Olympia to switch your Volcanion out and heal it. One Ranger. Ranger allows you to use Volcanic Heat again without having to like retreat or anything. So that's why the Ranger is pretty nice. That's kind of why we play the Escape Rope stuff too. Four Sickas is draw support. Two Belts. We don't need to have that many. Most of the time you do want to have a Float Stone on your Volcanion, right? So Funny Fury Belt allows you to, you know, use the Baby Volcanion, which is kind of what its use is for. But you can also use it on normal Volcanion if you want. Uh, two float stones. Float stones very relevant with the artillery. You don't really need any more because you have escape rope. You already have Olympia. There's a lot of switching options. We play a total of 12 basic fire energies. It's a very good amount of fire energies. Most Volcanian lists play 12. So yeah, this is the budget Volcanian list. And that is the five budget decks that I think are really good to build right now in the standard format. So thank you guys for watching the video. If you enjoyed, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to our PDCGO content. I'll see you guys on another video. Peace out.